I know you're trying to help. But all the words in the world won't make the hurt go away. Don't worry, though. I took an oath. I won't stop. I will fight until my very last breath. Oh, that was slamming, Ty. Did you feel my pain? <laughs> I was looking for my tissue. <laughs> Thanks. And I can't wait to see your stand-up routine. I know it's going to be mad funny. <laughs> I am pretty hilarious. Nate, I am so excited. Freshman Friday is the day we freshmen get to show our skills, and I'm taking full advantage. <laughs> Maybe I should do a dramatic piece like you. What do you think? Well, I think you should save the drama for your mama. <laughs> and I think you should save your comments for someone who cares. Everybody at Freshman Friday is going to care when my song brings down the house. <laughs> Can you do us all a favor and uh, be under that house? <laughs> Whatever. I did not like the tone of that slam. <laughs> well, then you're really gonna hate this. <laughs> oh, it's on now. I didn't want to be left out. You three in my office now. <sighs> Come on, Renee, before we get kicked out of Freshman Friday. Taina, Taina. Okay, who started it this time? <laughs> this constant bickering and finger pointing between the three of you has got to stop. I don't point like them. One of our goals, the Manhattan School of the Arts, is to teach our students to behave like professionals. As a professional, you, you have to learn how to put your personal feelings aside and get the job done. In the real world, you don't always get a chance to work with people you like. Uh, since when did Maritza live in the real world? <laughs> That's why I want the three of you to work together. Well, I cannot work with Maritza. She is pushy, arrogant, conceited, and begging you. There is no way these two hoot owls can share the stage. <laughs> hoot owls! I am not a hoot owl! Hoot owl. Excuse me! <laughs> Here's how it works. I talk, you listen. The three of you are going to find a project you can work on together, rehearse it, polish it, and impress me on Freshman Friday. Isn't that considered cruel and unusual punishment? Don't think of it as a punishment. It's more like an opportunity to learn to work with your peers. I'm still not motivated. Maybe a failing grade would motivate you. So when y'all want to get together and do this? I can't. You agreed to perform for Freshman Friday, right? Right. And what? you said I could make a behind-the-scenes film of you writing and performing a song for my Freshman Friday credit, right? Right. But that was before I got writer's block. Look, I can't come up with a new song, Lamar. Do yourself a favor. Forget about me. I stink. Well, oh, come on, man. You smelled much worse yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I need this credit. So I'm going to tell you something I've never told a soul. When I was young and I needed inspiration, I reached for my snubby. What's a snubby? Not a what? A who? Snubby is a little stuffed bunny rabbit my mother gave when I was four. <laughs> snubby was with me when I went to camp. Snubby was the first one to help me. Snubby helped me conquer my fear of heights. And uh, Snubby was the first one to know that I wanted to be a director. <laughs> Yeah, man, whenever times are tough, I reach for the snubby. Because he always has my back. Wait, you keep it in your locker? It's guarding my digicam. <laughs> and if you're really desperate, you can borrow them. Just, uh, have him back by bedtime. 
<laughs> okay, ladies. You two are so lucky. Some friends of mine are in the studio laying the music track as we speak. This performance is gonna be so hot. Now pay attention while I teach you the backup vocals. Backup? Why can't you do backup? Now why would I back up backup singers? Get real. <laughs> Look here, Tony Waxton. Okay, all right, Alexa. We'll back you up. We will? Yeah. You know singing is the only thing Maritza can do. Who cares if all the major talent agencies are desperately looking for singer-actors for upcoming roles? Oh, yeah. That is true. But I understand. We can't do a scene from a play, no matter how big Maritza's part is. Besides, she'll never risk being upstaged by us. <laughs> upstaged? Please, I'll act in your little drama. I am multi-talented. Besides, when it comes to drama, I am the queen. <laughs> wow, that must be grand diva now. <laughs> Never say that fame didn't come knocking at your door, Titan. <laughs> Lord, man. Hola! What's your name? Do you always scare children like that? <laughs> Do you always look like that? Oh, wait a minute. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, hey, hey! Cut it out, you two. Let's start from the beginning, okay? Okay. We're on the veranda, and you're sitting in your rocking chair. Where's your script? Professionals like moi don't need scripts. Look and learn, amateurs. <laughs> what are you doing? Not now. I'm in character. <laughs> Maritza, your character is supposed to be happy. She just found out that her husband, a prisoner of war for six years, is finally coming home to be with the family. What? <laughs> so, my character has three kids, and my husband is coming home after six years with no money? Why am I happy? <laughs> I can do bad all by myself. Okay, if you would have read more than just your lines, you would know that your husband owns three banks and a railroad. He's loaded. Oh, okay then. And now I'm happy. <laughs> Great. Let's start from the top, okay? I think it's him. I think he's coming up the lawn right now, Bertha Jean. Are you sure, Irma Jean? <laughs> you know you can't see next to nothing without your glasses. <laughs> Let's ask Betty Jean. Now, look here. I know you know your husband. Is that your Johnny Bo? I think it is Johnny Bo. <laughs> Johnny Bo? Johnny Bo. <laughs> Y'all don't know how long it's been since I seen my Johnny Bo. <laughs> been missing him something terrible. <laughs> what if it's mine? Ain't right. <laughs> that line always cracks me up. <laughs> what if... What if... He don't like my cooking no more. What if... He don't remember me the key. <laughs> what if? What if? What if you said your line? <laughs> it's what we thespians call a dramatic pause. Oh, oh it's too long. <laughs> what if Johnny Bo doesn't love me anymore? <laughs> Yay! 
dramatic pause. So, go to your room. Whenever he needed a hand or someone to understand, he'd always get his best plan from his snubby. <laughs> Snubby. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're all too kind. Thank you very much. What, what you looking at? <laughs> song wasn't about me. Oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? What I told you was personal, man. Everyone knows the song's about me and my snubby. No one knows that you're snubby, boy. Then why are those girls standing over here, huh? Well, I uh. I've been working out lately. <laughs> Look, Lamar, I didn't mention your name. If I would have known what a sensitive subject it was, I never would have written the song in the first place. Look, I promise, I won't play it at Freshman Friday. Well, okay. I tell you, that was almost as embarrassing as the time somebody stole my gear from the public pool and I had to run home in my sister's clothes. I don't even want to picture that. for two minutes and you're at it again? What's the problem now? They keep picking on Rachel! <laughs> Is this true? <laughs> no, Mommy. We're trying to figure out a song to sing for Freshman Friday and Maritza keeps hogging all the leads. I can't help it if I'm a born soloist. <laughs> Before a group can learn to harmonize with music, they need to learn to harmonize with each other. Well, that's easier said than done. Does your group have a name? How about the ladies and the tramp? <laughs> if you can't say something nice about a person, you shouldn't say anything at all. I still struggle with that one. <laughs> okay, look, let's start with vocal warm-ups. Come on. <laughs> Ready? How about that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, do y'all want to go again? Come on. And the little boy was dripping wet, and he had a runny nose. But his feet couldn't run fast enough when he wore his sister's nose. Let me explain. <laughs> explain? <laughs> What is there to explain? That you find humor in tormenting me? <laughs> My pain is a source of your enjoyment? <laughs> Look, Lamar, any true artist uses the parade of humanity that marches through his life. What are you talking about? Well, life is like a parade where the most inspiring ideas come from, and, and you as my best friend uh, are leading that parade, so uh, uh, you're my inspiration, my muse. Mm. Well, your muse isn't very amused. Write a song about that. Ooh, I think he loves me. Hey, Taina. We were rocking it last night. I still see those shocked expressions. Yeah, they were shocked, all right. <laughs> Who knew I had such a hidden talent? Now I know why my mother named me Renee Aretha Jones. She knew her baby had pipes worthy of the queen of soul. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, Nay. Huh? I'm glad you're excited, Pumpkin. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Ooh, I think he loves me. If you don't silence that wildebeest, I will. I don't want to hurt her feelings. And 
I don't want to hurt my eardrums or our chances of a good show at Freshman Friday. I can't believe I got stuck with you two. You know, this is no picnic for me either. I will find my own subtle way to tell Renee. I'm not like you. Well, if you were like me, you would handle your business and tell your girl the truth. Please. Ooh, I think he loves me. Me. Hey, Taina, we were really rocking it last. Renee, I don't mean to hurt your feelings. No, strike that. I do mean to hurt your feelings, because you hurt my eardrums. You can't sing, girl. <laughs> Ta, I can't believe you're saying this to me. Well, believe it, sound of mucus. Because when it comes to you, silence isn't just golden. It's platinum. <laughs> How can you say this to me, Taina? Oh, Taina? Quit calling me that. My name is Maritza. Do you hear me? Maritza. Maritza! Maritza? Why would you want anyone to call you that? I don't know, man. I was just bugging. You got the blues, too? Yeah, I got those how do you tell your best friend she can't sing without hurting her feelings kind of blues. Mr. Cologne coming. Act like we're best friends. Meryl Streep couldn't pull that off. <laughs> Some friends sing while others joke. So tell the truth while others choke. She has to tell her friend with tact that her voice is really whack. <laughs> whack. Say it. Bring it home, whack. baby. Learn, girl. What? what? Renee, don't be mad. Daniel, that was really messed up, man. Renee better hurry up. She's cutting into my beauty vest. You're beautiful already. Aw, thank you, Santito. <laughs> At least somebody in this family has taste. <laughs> Santito, go to your room. Vete. You're not the boss to me. <laughs> but I am the one who saw you using mommy's lipstick for a crayon. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, Nay. How you feeling? I decided to record my voice. Now I know the truth. You don't know how much I love you. Oh, and the truth hurts. You don't know Too bad. Get off. What you trying to do? Maritza, thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But if your best friend can't tell you the truth, who can? I can. <laughs> well, we all know I sing as well as Maritza acts. What's your weakness, Ty? I haven't found it yet. Anyway, what's next? I can't be hanging around you two people all day. People might start to talk. <laughs> I got it. We could do a rap song. That way, I could just flow. Rap? <laughs> Please, I'll let Maritza squash that idea. <laughs> Shows how much you know, Tyena. Give me something I can bounce to. I'm spitting the mad hype, living the Bronx life. It's a blessed the style that shines. Mad light, takes to refine. Lyrics genuine, my platinum shine. Be sending tingles up your spine. With tingles up your spine, I be leaving you shaking. Renee Aretha on the mic, and you know she ain't faking. It's girl three on the set, and you know we get fly. And next to represent is my homegirl Ty. All right. <laughs> uh, bling, bling. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so I can't flip. Mm-mm. You show me. Okay. <laughs> but we need to stop worrying about our weaknesses and concentrate on our strengths. I know we can come up with something we have to if we don't want to fail Mr. Cologne's class. Aren't you hungry, son? No, I want to give mine to Maritza. She's beautiful like Queen Electrola on my coloring. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. And she's not mean like Taina. Santito, Taina is not mean. But she keeps making me leave the room. That's because she's very busy preparing for her show. That's right. Taina is your sister and she loves you very much. More than Mudman loves Queen Electrola? <laughs> Much, much more. Like a big sister loves a little brother. I took my friends for granted, and I know I did them wrong. But without them by my side, there's no joy in my song. So I sing to say I'm sorry for all I put you through. No, I never meant to hurt you with the crazy things I do. Ladies, gentlemen, and students, show some love to Taina, Rene, and Maritza! That's Maritza, Taina, and Rene. Oh, no, she did. Yes, I did. No, I know you try to feel like you don't care. Not about you. Why? Because I'm laughing at the things you wear. Tacky, do. Try. To so walk around like you're in a style Miss Fire Mind Get a grip That shampoo is gonna pull your fire You're going on try Live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.